Hello, I have this Asus laptop, uh, X450CA laptop running Ubuntu, and it has a single jack for both headphones and microphone. And the microphone does not work, only the internal microphone works. I will show you. Bevu control. Pulse audio volume control, uh, nothing here, nothing here, output device, speakers and headphones, this works as expected, I can plug and unplug and it works, nothing here, input devices, just the microphone, which is the built-in one, you can unplug and unplug, nothing happens. Configuration, nothing relevant here, just analog stereo duplex. Uh, it's not anything with alpha mixer, capture devices, nothing to change here, all devices, nothing. So it's not alpha mixer. The solution is ADA Jack Retask. Running these two, I have uh, two codecs. This one is the one uh, with analog audio, the other one is for HDMI port. Analog audio, it only shows three pings. I want to show the unconnected ones. And then I will check each unconnected one if it is a microphone. This one is not, so it's not relevant. This one, 18 in hexadecimal, it, it can work as a microphone, so let me try this one. I will override this one from not connected to microphone. I will click apply, and it gives me an error. If there is this error, device is busy, that's because I have also a mixer here. So I can apply again. And now it works. Let's check Pavo control. Input devices has two devices. I can plug it and unplug it and it works. Output devices also keeps working and nothing changed here. Also mixer also shows more devices internal mic boost and mic boost there are more devices than before so yeah this is the solution so let me start let me install a boot of a ride but what exactly does it do let me check uh, stamp uh, ada task nmk what are the So it has three files. The first file, the script, essentially moves uh, FW to firmware and as a com file. Okay. So what what are the contents of these two files? This. The firmware file is just a configuration, some hexadecimal values, and the conf file that goes to modprobe as an option to patch the device to apply the firmware. That's how it does. And they should work, now the device should work after reboot. And thanks. Finally, I can make it work.